Hey guys, even here, and in today's video we got some really interesting news. And we're gonna start with Samson Dauda, we got some new drama. I didn't make this video yesterday, even though I wanted to, but it was Orthodox Easter, I was back home with my family, and when I got home I had to reply to all of my clients, and by the way, yeah, again, I am coaching. I said it earlier, I'm gonna say it again, and I'm not gonna bother you too much with this, so if you guys wanna coach, I have a lot of lifestyle clients as well, just to help you get in shape, but I also prep competitors for the stage, male and female. So again guys, if you want a coach who is affordable and also very quick to respond as well, unlike most top coaches who have hundreds of clients and they're only prioritizing the top athletes. So if you guys want a coach, once again, just DM me on Instagram. Anyways, back to the video. Samson Dauda. As you guys know, he's right now over there at the Oxygen Gym in Kuwait. Uh, he's basically working with these guys. He's promoting their gym, their shows. Right now he's promoting the Dubai Pro. I don't think he's gonna be doing that show, but he's gonna promote it. He's now working with those guys, and his wife is prepping everybody who is training in the oxygen gym right now. Just joking, of course. I hope Samson doesn't find this joke offensive, because everybody's joking with it. I think it's a great joke, it's, it's just a joke. So once again, Samson is at the oxygen gym, and he's gonna stay there for the entirety of his prep for the Mr. Olympia, unless he dislikes something about it, and he blocks everybody and goes home. Why am I saying this? It's because recently he blocked Milo Sharchev, Dennis James, and I believe Chris Cormier too. Let me play this video for you guys. Hey Chris, did you check? Uh, did the Samsung block you? Because <laughs> he blocked Dennis too. Really? I don't. I don't know why. I mean, it's was funny because Milo said that he was blocked, and then uh, when he told me, you know, I checked and I was still following him. But now when I put his name in, I don't even find it. So does that mean I'm blocked? Yeah, for sure. Hey, but yeah. I, I, he really did block me, man. He's, ain't that, where are we, man? Are we in, yeah. in high school? You know, you don't like me, I block you? For what? What, what, <laughs> what, what reason? Because I speak to Milos or? Yeah, probably. He, he blocked you, Milos, first. Yeah, yeah. All right, all right, very interesting. Samson Dauda decided to block Milos and also Dennis and Chris Cormier. I checked this, he's still following Chris Cormier and I couldn't find him in the following, so yeah, he blocked all those three guys. Why is that? I mean, why did he even block Milos? The question is, why? But I think we can all get a pretty good idea. I mean, why would he block anybody? Yeah, like Dennis James says, he's not a high school girl to be blocking people who he doesn't like, but let's be real. I'm sure every one of you here blocked somebody at some point. I mean, most of us have. So that's, that's I guess, that's reasonable. Now, the question is, why? Why would he block, I mean, okay, Milos, I can get that. They didn't really part their ways the best possible way. I mean, Milos did say some things about uh, him and, and Marlena and so on. Uh, Milos was just being honest, and maybe I heard also from Fuad that there is something about this collaboration that Samson did not want to say publicly. That there was something about Milos that bothers Samson. Samson didn't say anything bad about Milos, not really. Maybe the way he acted seemed like he discredited Milos because he said that his wife was prepping him when Milos was officially prepping him and he didn't make that thank you post immediately. He waited for like 15 days after everybody called him out for that, especially Dennis James and Chris Cormier. And then he made a short little thank you post, but really he didn't say anything bad about Milos. And Milos, I mean, he was also holding back. I know he was holding back big time. But he did say certain things, he was just defending his name, there's nothing wrong with that. But the truth is, these two guys are not in the best terms. And as far as Dennis and Chris, of course, they were on Milos' side the entire time. And they criticized Samson for the way he handled things, which I think is also reasonable. I don't think any blocking is called for, really. But recently, Dennis also spoke about uh, Samson... Uh, he compared Samson to Quinton Araya, and he was basically saying that Quinton has better frame, like more potential than Samson. So he is definitely he definitely doesn't like Samson as much anymore, especially after he after the whole fiasco with uh, Milos. So yeah, I can see why these guys uh, don't necessarily like each other too much, but to just go on Instagram and block everybody like that, I don't know, I don't know. I mean, lately, honestly, I was a huge fan of Samson. You guys know that. And I'm a still huge fan of his physique. But the way he's been acting lately, or should I say showing his true colors, 
I gotta say, I'm kind of disappointed. I mean, there is a lot of pressure on this guy lately, and surely he's not handling these situations the best way possible, but who's to say that you or I or anybody else would handle these situations any better? I mean, I know I wouldn't block people just like that. For me to block you, you need to cross some lines. And I don't think these guys crossed any lines. I wouldn't say so. So, I mean, I, I can't support Samson for doing this. This is just... This is truly childish behavior, crybaby behavior, and I don't know, I don't know, I mean, I was hoping that he kinda lost his mind for a moment after this prep for the Arnold, because he prepped like a million times in the past couple of years, and also because uh, he lost, but yeah, now that he's recovered and freshened up, he still keeps doing these kind of things, he acts like a super kind, a nice person, but the things he's doing, I don't know, I don't know, I just... I can't support this kind of behavior. I don't like it. Maybe you guys feel otherwise. If you guys think I'm wrong, please explain to me how I would like to see any other angles to this. Maybe I'm not seeing the situation clearly. Maybe Samson can explain to us why is all this happening. But as for right now, you guys tell me in the comment section what do you think about this. Alright, the next thing is very, very exciting. It's about Rubial Mosquera apparently going also to Kuwait and training the oxygen gyms and prepping for the Dubai Pro over there. I'm not exactly sure where did AJ Kelly Robert find this uh, news, but he's usually up to date, so he says, breaking news, report, big man Rubil Muscara is on Kuwait and will be training at the world famous oxygen gym for the Dubai Pro event this July. And then he poses a very interesting question, he says, could we this summer have Samson Dauda, Rubil Muscara and Brandon Curry YouTube series? Because all three of those guys are in Kuwait right now, prepping a training. So, are we gonna see those videos on YouTube, all these three guys training together? Honestly, I doubt that. Because, I mean, like, Samson is at a very high level. And Rubio is not really close. Not officially, not yet, to Samson. But he's, he is getting there. He is climbing up there. So, would Samson really tell his secrets, basically, to Rubio Mosquera? I don't think so, I don't think so, I mean, these guys are perfecting their craft every year, every day, and even though some people don't believe there is a certain skill that is required for bodybuilding, I think there is, especially about training, so why would Samson reveal his secrets to Rubiel if Rubiel can surpass him in a couple of years? As far as Brandon Curry and Samson Dauda, I can see that, because these guys are at a very close level, and Brandon has already won the Mr. Olympia now, he's like, he's not progressing anymore, really. And in that scenario, I believe Samson could learn a couple of things from Brandon. So why would Brandon help Samson go even higher? I mean, last year at the Mr. Olympia, there was only one spot between these two guys. Samson was third, Brandon was fourth. Yeah, Samson was in the first call-out and Brandon wasn't. So, how close they are, it's, it's definitely not as close as those three guys in the first call-out, or four guys, including Nick Walker, but, you know, you never know, maybe Samson's gonna come completely off this year, because he has no middle charge in his corner, he's gonna have a new coach, probably somebody from Kuwait, so I'm expecting Samson to be not in the best shape, and you guys know that Brandon was in the hospital the day before the show last year, so, if Brandon is 100% and Samson isn't, Maybe Brandon can beat him this year, you never know, so why would these guys, you know, give each other an edge, you know, help each other? I don't think we're gonna see this happen. These guys are very close rivals, so I think we're gonna see content, but separated. <laughs> Anyways, Rubiel is over there, how will that work out? That's the question. Again, like with Samson, I don't think this guy needs more size, and I think you and I will agree on that. He is like the most massive bodybuilder in the world right now. What he needs, really, is better posing, maybe better symmetry, stuff like that, and sure, conditioning can always be better, but as far as size, and that is what the auction gyms are known for, I don't think this guy needs it, not really. But how this can be beneficial for Rubiel is because he seems like a guy who has trouble locking in. You guys saw him after that Prague Pro, he was traveling, he was partying, he was relaxing back home. It was really hard to, to get this guy to commit, to put his nose to the grindstone, to focus, to stay driven. You know, that's, it seems like that's his issue, Rubio's issue. And if he's in Kuwait, there is nothing there to do but to 
train, sleep and eat. And from what I heard, supplements, quote unquote, over there are pure. You know exactly what you're getting and how much you're getting, which is rare these days. And you can't deny that so many bodybuilders, average bodybuilders, went to Kuwait and became really good bodybuilders. So I think this can work out for uh, Rubiel as long as he nails the conditioning somehow and they don't force him to be just as big as possible because he has enough mass already. We'll see how this will play out. Very interesting though, I gotta say. You guys tell me what do you think down below in the comment section. Alright, the next thing is very interesting. It's Wesley Wissers guest posing, looking like a freaking mass monster. Look at the size of this freaking guy and consider that this guy is actually six foot three, I believe. I think he's taller than me. Six foot three with this much mass. I mean, honestly, the way I'm feeling about this is this is so discouraging because I'm planning on competing in classic physique this year and turning pro and I see how big this guy is in the offseason and it's not really a full deep offseason, this is like a rebound phase because he competed like less than two months ago. When I see how massive you need to be for classic physique, I mean, I don't know, I don't think many people can achieve this kind of mass either, you know, and this is not open bodybuilding. And what you're probably wondering is, could he do open bodybuilding? Well, there are guys who are about his height, like that British guy, Jamie Johal, a couple of years ago. He retired now. He lost, like, all of his muscle. He's doing cycling now and stuff like that. Anyways, you know, he was a, a pretty good bodybuilder for his height. He never won a pro show, but he was in the top of a couple of shows. So, could Wesley do open successfully? I don't know, maybe, 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 if he's holding back right now, if he's holding back right now, and if he started pushing things, then sure, but if he's pushing things to the max right now, then, you know, probably not, not very successfully, he would definitely need a lot bigger legs, you know, hamstrings and quads, upper body, I mean, <laughs> I don't think he needs that much, really, he is freaking massive, and this guy's classic physique, and because of this incredible size because of this super big and wide frame i do think there is a possibility of him defeating chris bumstead very small one very tiny one but for the first time in you know how many years now five years it seems like there is a slight chance it's most likely not gonna happen but seeing the way west looks right now and the way he looked at the arnold classic oof, i don't know I don't know, this is very, very impressive. This guy is a freaking monster right now. I wonder how much he weighs right now. I don't think he ever said it. I mean, if Urs got up to 270 and he's like 5 foot 9, maybe 5 foot 10 tops, I don't think there is a chance of Urs being 5 foot 11, maybe somewhere around there, but less than 5'11. And he's 270, I guess Wesley now is at least 300 pounds. He looks like he's 300 pounds. What do you guys think? very very massive classic physique competitor one of the best in the world right now i think he's gonna be in the top three i mean can ramon beat him if ramon is improved because ramon wasn't at his best at the arnold i don't know maybe sure on paper it makes sense but you know we told the momentum that wesley has winning multiple arnold classics too this year and with this size with this frame with this uh, vintage genetics right classic era genetics Arnold like golden era look I don't know I don't know I think this guy's gonna do very well at a Mr. Olympia how well top three for sure if you ask me I don't think there's a chance of horse beating him again or Brion Ainsley or Terence Ruffin I think maybe Ramon but that's it as far as uh, Chris we'll see it's gonna be definitely a very interesting comparison because look at Wesley right now very impressive very freaky and that's gonna do it for this video guys, if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and for more videos like this about bodybuilding, subscribe to this channel and once again guys, if you want to be coached by me, just DM me on Instagram. Thank you so much for watching, all the best guys and bye bye.